What's going on, everyone? I'm back today with a banger. You already know, a banger for the boys. And we back with the reaction, you already know. We are going to be reacting to these cringy people in Walmart. And they're not really cringy. Most of them are just racist. So I'm probably going to name the title of the video, Racist People in Walmart. And it's crazy, guys. Like This is a whole other level of racism in some of these, I'm pretty sure. So, yeah, we're about to hop on into this and get this banger, boys. Run your mouth. Go back to Listen, Mexico. Listen, I said, I said, excuse go, me. Go back, wherever you're from. I said, excuse me. Don't be rude. No, you're the one that's rude. No, I said, yes, excuse me. I'm trying to buy you're something. You're in America. So? You're in America. So? So are what? That's right none of your business. Stay out of it. I don't need to stay out of stay it. Out I said, excuse me. for everybody to hear. Stop being ignorant. A nigger's calling me ignorant. Oh, yes. my goodness. Oh, my goodness. You are. You yo, yo, yo. That's crazy, guys. I can't even right now. Like, this woman is a whole nother level for me. Like, if, it, if you want my personal opinion, she just needs some cock. Yep, she needs some cock, boys. That's what it is. But, yeah, you can tell she's just an old woman chilling in Walmart. You know, if any of you guys want to offer up your cock to her, go ahead. I'm cool with you. That's that's fine. So we chill and about to watch the rest of the video. You are yeah. very rude. No, you're the one that's rude. I said excuse me because I'm I'm trying to grab my medicine. You told me. You know what you told me, and I yes, I said I said if you don't like Just me, I'm go sorry. On. Just go on. Just go on. Get Whatever. Get out of here. No, I'm not gonna go get out of here. Go. No. No, I'm not. Because this is my country. Argue? Yes, this is my country. country. Oh, yes, it is. No, no, oh, yes, it here. is. I don't That's care. We do we want don't want you I don't here. care. Ma'am, I'm sorry. We don't want you here. Like, I don't care what color you are. I don't care if they think white for the United States. Like, get out of here. We don't want you in this country. They can trade countries for all I care. Like, honestly. Just like, this, this woman, this old woman needs to get out of this country. Like, this is sad, boys. Um, another level of racism is here today, boys. So, yeah. I guess this is the most racist woman to ever walk the face of the planet. And we will hop on in to more of her racism. What you want or not? We no. do want you here. Leave me That's alone. Not true. No. Yes. How rude. You. Oh, Thank How rude. Get her to me. No, ma'am. Leave me alone. This, this, this is inappropriate. <laughs> Thank you, her. For, for, Tell her. No, no ma'am. Oh. Tell her. It's inappropriate. I said, excuse me. Speak for the store. I'm not here for the store. You're in the store. I'm spending money in this store. So am I. That's correct. Uh -huh. Boys, if I was in Walmart when this happened, I would have handed this woman a major L. Yes, a major one. So, yeah. This is crazy, guys. This other woman, I'm assuming she's from Mexico, is crying at this point and taking it to heart. But she don't need to listen to people like this. People like this don't have a place in the world. So, yeah. I would have handed her an L in Walmart right then and there. And we're about to see how many L's she gets handed here. So we're both Please cousins. go. Please oh. go. Oh. Get out of here. Oh, come on. Let's, let's come back. Let's come back. I just did. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Shut <laughs> up. Are you. Does she honestly it. still have a right to no, be here? Okay. I'm going to have to ask you anything, ma'am. This is inappropriate. It's not my fault. She started it. I do not do anything. I said, You're going to make her leave, too? Well, you're just causing a scene in the store. I'm not. She is. By no, what? I mean, did not. you watch it? No. You weren't even. I, I heard you from she the office. She is. That's because she was mouthing me. No, I said, excuse me. So don't tell me it's my fault. And you said, every time I'm on an aisle, people just come near I wasn't me. I was talking to you. And I said, but I'm you sorry. Made it your business. I said, I'm sorry. If you don't like it, I she need is. to get my medicine. She's making it all up. No, I'm every not. Wow. Just get your stuff and go. Oh, She's shopping as well, my gosh. She has I every right too. to be here as you. And I'm not going to listen to her mouth. We don't have to listen to her. But she's still I here and has every right to shop. I do. Which is what you're doing as well, ma'am. Yeah, that's what people do when they know they're wrong, guys. That's what people do when they know they're wrong. So, uh, yeah. She knows she's wrong at this point. 
And she's just a literal faggot, and that's pretty much all I gotta say. But we can watch the rest of this because who, who wouldn't want to watch the rest of this? It's so bad. Well, I'm just trying to resolve a conflict here. That's all. No, you're not. Yes, I am. No, you're not. That's exactly what I'm trying. The to. conflict is her. I did not do anything and to you, ma'am. You push your like cart towards me and pushed Nobody. me. I didn't push. Yes, you, you didn't pushed me with you. your cart. Oh, whatever. <laughs> I ain't listening to this bull crap. Oh my god. Oh, whatever. I ain't listening to this bull crap. Yeah, boys, let's hop into the next court. Hey, hey, spray that shit, bitch. Butter in your fat ass, bitch. Want some fucking shit? That is crazy, boys. What is going on here? So, I don't know exactly what happened here. I can't tell. Maybe you guys can tell by watching it. But it looks like this guy came up to Burger King complaining, going off on them. He's probably high or some crap. He's on crack. But we all know everyone's on crack nowadays, so that's fine. So, boys. I don't know what happened here, but maybe this dude is being racist. I don't, I don't remember the title of the video that I found or whatever. But maybe he's being racist. This guy is just like, all right, it's time to take you out, boy. He's crippled though, so who knows? But yeah, we chilling. Man. This ain't a fire clip, but it's still fire enough. But whatever. <laughs> Careful, hey. Absolutely unnecessary, guys. This is crazy, dude. Like, they don't have to come up and tase him. I mean, one guy's enough there. And, I mean, I know the guy was in the wrong for coming in there, talking all that crap, doing whatever the heck he was doing. But that's not right, boys. You know, we get... It's excessive. I don't really care. I feel like the first few hits that he took would have been enough but you already know so excessive stuff boys and now we're on to the next court what were you saying about what no what hello lindor please hello <laughs> i have a problem with the guy that was like oh <laughs> What is going on here, boys? You got this racist woman, I'm pretty sure. You know, this guy's just out trying to do his job, drive his truck, get what he needs to be done done. And this woman's calling the cops on him, uh, I guess for parking his truck where he parked his truck and for being, he, she thinks he's illegal or something, but like, at least he's out doing his job and working, like, thinks he's taking, she thinks that, oh my God, I can't right now with you guys. It's so dumb. I don't even understand. But yeah, we'll keep watching this clip and see what happens. He's taking a picture of me, huh? Oh, I'm back. Don't take pictures of me. Lesson learned. Yes. It's correct. No. God has full right to be videotaping her, obviously. She's being a racist hoe. So, yeah, I mean, that's where all the hoes you're at is Walmart, right? So, yeah. Get the racist hoes out of Walmart and put some pretty chicks in there.
the address is Lindor Walmart. Does that sound like an address? That sounds like an address. Anyhow, guys, I want to see you guys at the Walmart in Indianapolis, Indiana tomorrow. Yeah, 6 o'clock. Don't even look at the address. You show up to Indianapolis, any Indiana, and look for the Walmart. You already know. So, yeah, boys. Uh, this woman's an idiot. I don't know who this guy is. Let me just rub and be racist real fast because he's not white. Pretty much. He looks creepy from Mexico. Yep, that woman is officially racist. And she's at Walmart, just like all the other racist people. All the racist people shop at Walmart. Uh, if they see someone that's not their color, hey, see you later. Go back home. Get out of here. Get out of my store. Get out of my store. This is Walmart. This is where the home of the rednecks go. But yeah, boys, racist one. My dad is black. Well, woman, you don't act like your dad is black. You act like you were raised up in the middle of the sticks with no parents. And every time you've seen someone that wasn't your color, get out of my country. You, didn't, you don't belong here. You're not legal. Oh. But yeah, boys, um, we're going to keep this going, I guess. And just remember, her dad is black. My little nephew is Italian, Mexican, and Aloha. She's coming up with excuses. She probably, her dad probably isn't even black. And her, I mean, it's all step stuff. If so, like, I don't even understand. Like, she is so messed up in the mind, dude. And that's why she's at Walmart causing a scene. Because she's messed up in the mind. She's on the phone with the police, you know. Or chilling, you know. We're trying to get this guy arrested for doing nothing wrong. He's parked at the Walmart, probably running in to get something to eat or drink. So, yeah, boys. What a banger clip. We have racists. This fucker is coming out of the bushes telling me to park my car because he can't park straight, fucker. Stupid ass. I want to know who this piece of shit is. You understand? Who the fuck are you? Do you have a green card? Are you legit? That's all. American people. lives. Racist. What are you doing sitting here fucking car? Get a job. Get his job. He can sit his fucking Some people. She went hard, dude. Oh my god. She went off on him. And, you know, this guy that's going off, not going off, but talking to her, trying to get her to calm down and quit being racist, probably has a job. This woman looks like she sits on the side of the street every day, panhandling and begging for money while selling drugs and smoking pot every day, shooting some cocaine up there, yeah. Don't even know how that works, but yeah. Snorting some cocaine, my fault. I do know how that works. But yeah, that's the end of that one, boys, you know. We don't want to talk about that one anymore. But this next one is crazy, so I'm pretty much just going to play the video out. I'll react to it at the end. So, yeah.
Who's your manager? She's not here right now. Find her. One of y'all need to get her on the phone. Because you're going to apologize to my children for your little racist ass comment. You asked my son, was he about to go trick or treat tonight? Because no, you saw him in cultural wear. No, I said it's Fucking that... apologize. Honey, I'm sorry. Get your manager on the phone. I was recording. One of y'all find this fucking my... phone and call your manager. I'm calling her, honey. You shouldn't make comments like that to no child to come in here. It wasn't it's me. It's the that's minute no that. Was it this one right here? I asked you. And then you gonna sit here and tell me no, it wasn't you? No, I, I didn't say You it talking wasn't to me. a child. You in a black goddamn neighborhood. You ought to have a little better diversified I training than this. Say Call it was your not fucking me. manager. I am going to. I did not say it wasn't me. Did and you I ask meant, him was he going trick or treat tonight? I, I, no, I didn't say tonight. Are you going trick or treat tonight? I didn't say it's September. Tonight. When will he be going trick or treat? Well, let me just I tell asked you. Was it I, when will he be going trick or treat? I just asked for information too because I play it all the time. Exactly when in September would my son in African garment be going trick or treat? Honey, I didn't know what it was. Whichever I, one of y'all bitches I, I, think he would be going trick or treating in the middle of goddamn September, all you need to do is ask his mama, is he going trick or treating in September? But you standing in the middle of a black neighborhood and you're going to see three children dressed beautifully. What's your name? Sandra. What's her name? Alicia. Alicia, you the manager of this store? I want to talk to her. So let me tell you. This is insanity, dude. So this woman even sounds like she'd be racist, the one that uh, is talking to her. And they're just following their culture, you know? That's what they would do back in their country. So they're, they're respecting their culture, and we should have no problem with that. You know, they're fine being here, just like anyone else. And if they want to, they wear what they want to wear. This is a free country. Holy crap. I'm glad this woman has given them so much crap. And who knows what else she's about to say, but she's about to... Bang these boys in the head. You about Sandra's racist ass. My three beautiful black children dressed in their cultural garments came in this store to spend money up in this raggedy motherfucker. And she wasn't happy till her mama came over here acting this way because she asked my children, were they going trick or treating? Now I don't know what the hell y'all do to train these people who work up here. But we live in this neighborhood, we spend money in this neighborhood, and as long as y'all in this neighborhood, you will respect the money that makes sure your ass got a check. And then when he come in here and point out exactly which one says that she at first tried to tell me it wasn't her. No, I didn't. Lying not. racist bitch. No, I didn't. It was not. you. But see, y'all don't understand when black people act culturally correct. But you understand when I cut you the fuck out. You understand this language real quick. But this female here had no business talking to my children that way. Totally out of line. I have some of the most respectful children in this neighborhood. Everybody working in the store, you see my children all the time. They never give a moment's trouble. And they bet not have a moment's trouble. And if they have a moment's trouble, this is the mama coming up here. You need to fix your shit. You work here, chick. You don't work in guys, racist bitch. Holy crap. It's crazy boys out here today. And she just went off, called her what she was, straight ended that woman's career at the family dollar. Her career's ended at the family dollar. I'm going to take her job because I need some money. So, yeah. You guys want to come see me in the family dollar? I'll be there any day, every day. You already know. Come party with me and we might, uh, who knows? We might have, nah, they won't, I won't be racist, I promise you. But maybe when my coworkers be racist, I'll record it. Who knows? So, yeah, boys, come see me in the family dollar. No, we, he does not even smoke, ma'am. Will you please just leave? Okay, can I have a regular cigarette? No, we don't have regular cigarettes to give you. Don't come this way, mommy. Please walk out that door, ma'am. Mommy. Don't come this way, mommy. Bro, if that was my mom, she would be in rehab right now. I'd be paying for it. Like, God bless. Crackhead nation, son. Crackhead, crackhead. Bro, I just want to be a crackhead to feel what it feels like. But then I'll get addicted and then I'll get to live my life and fulfill this YouTube dream that I have. But uh, you never know. I'm probably going to fail at that too. But I'm going to give it a go. I'm going to keep going. That's a problem. Yes, walk out the door. I'm not even going to do this shit. As many times as... Why? What is and up? And listen. I'm fuck somebody up, but I guarantee you're brown. You're not. No. You want to bet me on that? I, what? <laughs> what is going on in the world? <laughs> what? <laughs> what kind of? Listen, I guarantee he's a brown. <laughs> <laughs>
Ma'am, please stop. Well... Sorry, I can't last as long as the crackhead dude. I'm sorry, guys. But this woman is an absolute crackhead. I know that was probably really loud in the way. I'm sorry about that. But we go, we go, we challenge. What kind of drugs are you on? No drugs. But I guarantee he's a brown. Do you have mental issues? Is there something? Is there something I, I can do to you calm you down? You up. Yeah, I don't want to touch you. I don't want to touch you. Hold this. No, he's not gonna hold, hold nothing. Hold this shit for me. No, please. I you're no, around. no, he's not. I can pick he's a Dominican. I don't even smoke no weed, but I'm about to fuck him up. Over weed? No. That, no, face. please stop smacking my hand. You're don't touch me, please. You, need to leave the you do need to leave. Please stop. You need to leave the store. Stop. I need to leave the store. I will pay somebody to get you out this door, sweetie. I, no, don't do that. And listen, here, right, let's take it. First of all, I am so sorry. That smells like ass. Yeah, oh my God. Please stop antagonizing my cashier. I need him to work right now. I guarantee you're around. You can't guarantee nothing, darling. What? I guarantee you're around. We are. Listen. Oh, I got you. Ma'am, stop! Get now? out my store! Yeah, fuck. I won't even fuck you up just because you cute. Oh! Oh my god. Stop, goodness. leave. Oh you gotta god. go. Go! Can you leave the store? Bet I don't. Bet I don't. What the Where's fuck? Your parents? I ain't got no parents. I you ain't even like got any. Yo, she thinks she's hard. I bet all the guys get hard for that, though. I mean, heck. So, yeah, boys. Uh, ugliest crackhead ever. Loudest crackhead ever. And this crackhead, no telling what they're gonna do next. So yeah, they're throwing stuff at the cashier and taking it to a new level. But if you want this girl to be yours, maybe you'll find her one day and I guarantee she'll say yes. And I guarantee you'll get some on the first night. So good luck and have fun with your crackhead. Where the fuck is the, the boys at? Oh my God. Did you do cute. Oh they slow as fuck. I don't even need no parents. But I guarantee you around. Ma'am, leave! I have She's customers! Go away! You have to leave. Like, you stop at our whole storefront. What's over a cigarette? What's the cigarette gonna do? It is that fucking tears. I smoke a lot. I can't tell you. Can man. I have a pack? No. I will. If you walk out that door right now, I will give you a cigarette if that's all okay, it takes. You but you cannot be throwing them? shit at no. my cashier. Nigga, nigga, what? Nigga, nothing. Get your ass out the store. I guarantee you. This is the family dollar on Viola, man. You guys need to send the cops now. This chick is throwing shit at my cashier. It is that serious. I it is not that serious. You up, You're not going to fuck me I up. You about right. to get the fuck out this store. Oh, yeah, you will get choke slam, chick. Back the fuck up. I guarantee on my life you were brown. This is 506 V. Odom Boulevard. Stop walking back there. Leave my cashier the alone. Of you won't fuck me up for the hell of it. Nigga, nigga, what? Nigga, nothing. Get the fuck. Oh, my God. There is kid. A freaking horse. That girl looked like a horse, bro. So, yeah. Ooh. Did I look like her? I know it did, I gosh. Oh my god, bro. Except I don't look like a crackhead, but um, she's gonna mess them up. You know, I would already be messed up. If you ever walk in the Family Dollar or anywhere else and hear, Ooh! you might as well just go, uh, go pull out your iPhone and record this woman because I want to react to her again. So, yeah. Bye. Kids in here, girl. Get out of here. Fuck you. No, Lots what kind of drugs are you on? Lots of them. You gotta go. This is a store. But I guarantee that's a motherfucking brown. He, what you got now? Little brown. It's Kirby's nephew. It's one or the other. Man, listen. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What? Says nothing. Man. Um, she has on black joggers with white letters that say varsity. She has on this pink. Oh, God, the cops just got here.
You about to get a cigarette when you in the back of that police car. Man. She's got to go. She's got to go. Can y'all get this right now? She's throwing stuff at me. Go She's, uh, hey. yeah. Guarantee you a brown. <laughs> okay. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Blake, man, you are like cashier of the year, dude. I kid you not, man. Blake, you are cashier of the year, dude. Go ahead and take you a break, man. These clowns around here. This chick. That is crazy, boys. I reacted all that I want to react to. My head is messed up after watching these five clips here. And I hope you guys enjoyed the banger. And I'm going to keep grinding and getting the reaction videos too. So, yeah, boys. Maybe the next one will be better. I know this one was not amazing. But, you know, more bangers coming. And peace out, boys. And y'all have a great day.